Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Wednesday, December 28th, 2016, and this will be the first vlog in the series. So I figured I'd start where the day starts. The day starts first thing when you get up in the morning, right? Now one thing I learned from Ty Lopez, you know the guy, hey, I'm here with my Lamborghini. That guy, he actually has a lot of very intelligent things to say. One thing Ty Lopez talked about that really made sense to me uh, was heuristics. He speaks of heuristics in one of his videos. I'll find the link and I'll post it below. So here's how it works. When you wake up in the morning, you make a yes, no decision when your alarm clock goes off. You say, yes, I'm gonna get up or no, I'm not ready to get up. I'm gonna hit the snooze button. Two different outcomes. You say yes, you wake up, okay, get up, Get in the shower, you're ready for work, you have time for breakfast, because you set your alarm at that time for a reason. You know, yeah, you have a little more extra time to drive to work in the morning. It helps, okay? You're not rushed. Okay? The other side of the heuristics, no. So let's say I say no. I'm not gonna wake up yet. <sighs> you're such a, such a disappointment. I don't, I don't wanna look at you. You hit the snooze button again. All right, now you're maybe 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes later than you normally should have. Okay, now you're rushed for breakfast. I need a traffic jam, well. Now you're furious because you're already running late because of traffic. Had nothing to do with the fact that you hit the snooze button. Not right? So your day starts out in a mess. You want to start your day with a strong momentum. You want to start on that positive heuristics. You want to start on the yes. The more I read, the more I learn that your day actually begins the night before. That doesn't make sense. Say the weirdest things. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. No, hear me out. The idea is to pre-plan your next day the night before so that when you wake up you know full right well what you're getting yourself into for that day. I'm going to start a blog. On my blog I'm going to include the following information. I'm going to have my outcome for the next day. For example, if we look at the day I did my last video. I had a page written up. My outcome for Wednesday, December 21st, 2016. Started with four things. Four things that I wanted to be completed by the end of my day on Wednesday. So I had loser to Lambo video goes live. Dude, you really need to stop calling yourself a loser. I had Forex trading. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to explain that in a different video. We're not going there now. I want to relieve some of the pain in my back and I want to make sure I did a morning prime. After that, I have a why category. As a personal trainer, we're always told to focus on the client's why. You'd be talking to say a potential female client at the gym and you'd be like, you know, what are you here for? What's your goal? I'm good, but I just wanna lose like five pounds. The trick is to get in to figure out why she wants to lose the five pounds. Odds are it's because she has, say, a certain pair of jeans or something in her outfit or dress she wants to fit into. Or maybe she just wants to lose five pounds. I read a book called Start With Why by Simon Sinek. This one. It is a pretty decent book, though it does become quite repetitious as you read on. It's different to say, oh, you know, I, I want to quit, sm quit smoking. Well, why? Oh, I don't know, it's bad for me. Y you have to have a stronger why than that. You're like, I want to quit smoking because... I want to be able to run a 5k. I want to quit smoking because I'm sick of coughing all the time. I need to quit smoking because I don't even remember why, man. <laughs> so in my why list, I have something dedicated to each of the items I mentioned that I wanted to be part of the outcome for my day. The first item on the list was to get Loser to Lambo live. I was putting it off because I wanted to be perfect. I wanted to avoid making all the errors. But the more I learn, the more I find out that it's about just doing the action and you'll get better through repetition. You just make the errors along the way. It's okay, you're just failing forward. My wife for item two, uh, so why am I gonna spend time on Forex? Well, the reason for that is because Forex is gonna be something big that I'm gonna be doing for a long time is trading currencies. Um, it's like trading stocks, kind of, um, but that's the idea. You're trading one currency for another, one currency against another, actually. It's quite complicated, but I'll go over it in another video if someone's interested. Item three for my outcome for Wednesday was to get some relief from the pain in my back. The why for that is obvious. Pain is not fun. Bad pain. Item four is to do a morning prime, which is a morning routine. My why for that is because successful people are doing it. Okay, people, Obama has a morning routine. Mark Zuckerberg, creator of Facebook as a morning routine. Part of that is wearing the same clothes every day because he wants to limit the amount of decisions he has to make in a day. And apparently that's a big one. So that's a him thing. But successful people do it. And if they're doing it and seeing great success from it, then I should be doing it. The next section is what actions do I need to take to achieve my outcome for the day that I planned ahead? I actually start and I just write in a little book. 
in my book I have for item one for getting the video live I had to make sure I set up a Facebook account, Pinterest account, Twitter account, Google Plus account, Facebook groups page, Google communities page, start looking into a blog. I had to set up the channel. I also have on my list to watch two videos that I had favorited on YouTube on how to make a good YouTube video. YouTube taught me how to make YouTube. Thanks YouTube. For item two, which is Forex. I'm not gonna get into that now. I already said I wasn't gonna get into that now. Sorry, I'll explain later. For the third item on the list, my back. I'm working with lacrosse balls to roll out the tissue in my hamstrings and I'm also doing hamstring stretches as well. All while strengthening my core. It's a lot of work. All right for the fourth item morning routine. Morning prime as Tony Robbins calls it. You know who Tony Robbins is? If you don't look him up. He's the man. He helps a lot of people. He's a good guy. He gives away a lot of information for free. Tony Robbins has a morning prime. Wakes up, no snooze button, going to the shower, having your shower. Here's where things get weird. While you're enjoying your shower, what you need to do is take the temperature, turn the hot off and the cold on. Say what? You want me to do what? Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Are you serious? Are you serious? Why was the cold prime important? I'll tell you why it's important. Cold prime is important because it requires an activation energy. It requires you to do something you don't necessarily want to do. Activation energy you use to turn the hot knob down and the cold knob up to wake yourself up in the morning. And not only does it make every all the nerves in your body fire, like fireworks, but you're kind of telling your body who's boss. It's what everything you're being saying, no, 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 I don't want to do this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And you saying, shut up. It's going to be the same energy that you're going to use to say, no, I'm not going to have that chocolate or no, I'm not going to have that smoke or you know, I am going to put a little more effort on my company today or I'm going to work a little harder today or I'm going to put that ad up or I'm going to make that sale or that's what it's about. It's about telling yourself who's boss. Hey, I'm boss. Don't look at me. Don't we'll talk about this later. Tony then says he does three minutes of explosive breathing. So big breaths, shallow breaths, quick breaths. To me, I found out that was really easy to do when you got the water on cold. Then spends three minutes on imagining that he's already reached his goal. So whatever his current goal is, he imagines that he's already there. For me, it'd be like, I imagine I have my house, I have my Lambo parked in front. Okay, it's all about imagining, putting those thoughts in your head, making them real. The more you think about, them, the more real you make them, uh, the harder you're gonna work to get them. This is what I keep hearing, so let's go with it. See you next Wednesday, where I'm gonna be covering how to set your goal, how to make your goal more real, and start from that. That way we can start a plan on how to get to that goal. All right, that's it for this week. Click like if you thought this video was interesting or helped you at all. Click subscribe if you want to be notified when the next video comes out. Good to see you again. Have a good week.